Hello and welcome again to Easy Podcast. This is episode 19, not the meaning of life, but meaning in it. So, um, now that we're getting to the end of this series, I wanted to come back um, to what I started talking about, like originally in episodes 1 and, and 5 and the earlier episodes of the show, and started talking about life as a whole. Um, so that's how we're going to end off this series with these next two episodes. So recently, I have been in an intro to philosophy class in college, and um, near the end of the semester, we're talking about Martin Heidegger and um, all of the existential concerns and crises that um, we as human beings must go through as we progress and evolve through time in our worlds. And um, it talks a lot about angst and um, trying to find our purpose in life. Um, trying to search our true self and to be authentic and that's definitely something that I think we try to do every day whether consciously or subconsciously Um, a big point of his philosophy is that we fall into this state of everydayness and uh, we just sort of go with the crowd and go with what society dictates in our world we don't really break social norms without consciously doing it which is usually provoked by something else in our environment so we basically are um, just trained to sort of fall in this state of um, following and uh, and doing what is expected of us and uh, nothing much more. And uh, he says that with angst and our anticipation and our resoluteness against death and um, facing certain issues and crises within ourselves, we can find our true self and um, try to live as authentically as possible, as much as possible from day to day. And um, a big question that um, would sort of correlate with these existential crises is um, what is the meaning of life? Um, and what if there is no meaning of life? And how, how, can, ha- how can life have one singular meaning um, when the possibilities of the universe are so infinite? It's just something we will get into in next episode. But in my perspective, I don't think there is that um, singular meaning of life that one would think or that one would traditionally say, like if there's some universal cosmic secret out there. I wouldn't really say that type of meaning of life exists. But there is meaning inside life itself, and we create and we find that own meaning for ourselves as we move on through life. Um, So whether it's, um, you know, being with somebody or doing something that you love, we create that meaning for ourselves, and we can have numerous meanings of life that we subscribe to, and that's what keeps us going throughout life. So I think, therefore, that the the meaning must be inside life. The meaning of life must be to find that meaning inside life. So the meaning of life is really just to find whatever meaning in life makes you live. So really, the meaning of life is different for every single person in that respect. And um, I think that would make a lot of sense. Because how can one meaning of life sort of, you know, align with everybody's set of ideals or mindset or anything like that? Really, the meaning of life has to be personal and has to be what we think of of our own. Because our own individual meanings of life is what pushes us onward. So it can't really be the same for everybody because we are all different people, yet we are alike and um, we relate to each other and to the society in our world and that's how we sort of define ourself, ourselves, but in doing that we also have these specks of uniqueness that we, um, that we personify that we show the world um, by all having different things that we do and that we um, that we live for in life. So the meaning of life is to find the meaning in it, I think. So, um, yeah, the universal question is solved. Because how could there be an answer to the meaning of life um, unless you subscribe to a religion in which it states that there is a certain meaning in life, but you know, even even stuff like that is pretty fuzzy. And um, you know, if you do subscribe to those sets of beliefs, beliefs, uh, you wouldn't really know if there is that wholesome, all-powerful 
meaning of life until the afterlife. But how can the meaning of life have any weight in the afterlife? Because if you're no longer living, um, you're in this other sort of plane of existence, um, if we want to sort of relate that to uh, a, a religious type stance. So really the meaning of life has to be thought of for ourselves because once we die the life that we wanted to find the meaning for is no longer applicable to us whether we have an afterlife or not. So yeah we have to find the meaning of life for ourselves and then in doing that and that meaning could evolve and progress from something t entirely different to something else in the future by, um, by following that and finding that we can live our lives with purpose and live our lives uh, true to ourselves so we can be true to other people in how we want to interact with each other and society in our world. So yeah, there's no meaning of life, um, but only the meaning that you, you know, uh, align it. Um, only that meaning that you think is uh, worth living out for. So yeah. That's what I think on that situation, so I'd be curious to know what you think is the meaning of life and what is your personal meaning that you live for. Uh, let me know down in the comments below, and um, in the next episode, it will be the finale of Easy Podcast, so definitely come out and listen and enjoy it, um, so it'll be the last episode of Season 2 and also the series finale, so I'm very excited to record that for you guys, and um, yeah, it's been a wild ride, and I thank you very much for... Um, taking it with me. All right, thank you very much. Uh, have a great week, and I will see you for the finale um, very soon. All right, thank you very much, and good night.